Good morning, Chattanooga. Here's a quick look at the top five news stories you need to know today. First of all, the owners of a Collegedale assisted living home have been arrested after police say they neglected and abused the eight elderly patients in their care. Police started investigating Mora's assisted living home for seniors in February. Several residents from the home were taken to the hospital where signs of abuse and neglect were discovered. The home employed only one worker who was unlicensed to administer medication or care for residents, and police say she was often the only person on duty. Investigators say two elderly patients were not given critical medication they should have been receiving while they were there. One resident was found to be severely dehydrated and suffering from a urinary tract infection. One witness said she saw a caregiver hoist one elderly woman out of a wheelchair and throw her onto a bed. All of the elderly patients have now been transferred away from the home. Next up, Chattanooga traffic engineers are working to make left turns a little less confusing. Work is beginning to update left turn signals along Highway 153 to include flashing yellow arrows. The flashing arrow tells drivers that they do not have a protected left turn and must yield to oncoming traffic. The system will be the first of its kind in Tennessee. Video cameras will scan traffic. And if cars begin to back up, a computer will signal for the light to change to green. The system is supposed to help traffic move more efficiently and safely. Turning to politics, Republican lawmakers in the greater Chattanooga area are lining up against a minimum wage increase. President Obama recently pitched lifting the minimum wage from $7.25 to $9 an hour, calling it the difference between groceries and the food bank. But many lawmakers here see the move as an impediment to employers and economic growth. Senator Johnny Isaacson says raising the minimum wage would hurt the same people it's trying to help by reducing the number of people that employers can hire. Several Tennessee Republicans say that first jobs aren't designed for higher wages. Instead, they're someplace to begin achieving the American dream. Almost 200,000 workers in Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia work for the minimum wage. Congress hasn't raised it since 2009, but we want to know what you think. Should the minimum wage be raised? Share your thoughts with us at facebook.com slash timesfreepress. Next up, a bill allowing the Chattanooga Whiskey Company to manufacture whiskey here in its hometown has been approved by a Tennessee House panel. Subcommittee members approved it on a four to one vote, despite the objections of Representative Richard Floyd. Floyd, who opposes alcohol, said he specifically exempted Hamilton County from a 2009 bill that allowed county commissioners to approve whiskey distilling. This new legislation would allow the city's elected officials to approve distilleries if city voters previously approved liquor by the drink and liquor package stores. Most Hamilton County lawmakers back the bill. And finally, while Hamilton County school officials continue pushing to have an iPad in the hands of all 42,000 students, some local schools are already putting tablet computers to good use in the classroom. DuPont Elementary School principal Janice Scott says she didn't feel like she could wait to move students ahead with the technology. Take a look. Education is changing and we have to change with it. Used to we could read, um, learn to read basic and, and you, could, you could do addition, subtraction, and multiplication, but nowadays you have to be able to, to access information because you can't memorize all of it. More of 20 questions. Right now we have some iPads here at DuPont and we're trying to use them. Uh, I do believe it's, a, it's um, giving us a, a, a broader scope of things. A world book or an encyclopedia, they're out of date when they're, when they're printed. And weather today will be partly sunny with a high near 54 degrees. Tonight will be mostly clear with a low around 30. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.